Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm just here to make some happy mail with you. This is for my pen pal Leah. Uh, she sent me a letter back in October and I have still not gotten back to her so I'm making her a happy mail themed um or uh, I mean a, a Valentine's themed happy mail. Uh, she really likes these stickers so I got her some of these. I'm gonna warn her in advance to like keep clear my YouTube and my my in I won't post on Instagram, but pictures on Instagram till she gets it, but at least my YouTube just so it's not spoiled for her, but she really loves these stickers. These are some of my favorite just favorite stickers of all times. It's a shame this time they printed them, they weren't holographic, but I got her some of these because she said she really liked them. And uh yeah, I think it's the perfect time. So this mail is based off of Loveland's Life's oh, sorry, not Loveland Life. Um, paper letter blogs, um, Happy Mail wallet she made for one of her pen pals or one of her subscribers that had sent her mail. And uh, hers was like one of those flip book type of wallet mails and I was kind of thinking about the type of wallets I've carried and I used to carry before I carried a purse is I would carry just a wallet that was a fold wallet like this, like a, a dad wallet um, that my dad actually made for me. And um, so instead of doing doing uh, that type of wallet, I wanted to do one like this. So I looked up a, an origami tutorial to see how to make one of these. And there were a bunch of them, but this is the easy one I, um, I could find. I'm really bad at origami. I've tried to learn before, especially like standard stuff like cranes and whatever. I've never been really good at it. Uh, so this one was really fast and easy. I'll link below the video I used to to make it. Um, so the tutorial I used used A4 size paper which is like the US standard letter size. I'm pretty sure it's like 8 by 11 and I made one of these on camera but it was a fail so I didn't want to try and make it again. But I made a few of these um, using scrapbook paper. I, I upped um, the size of the paper as large as I could because I want to be able to tuck these sheets in there and have them not poke out so these fit perfect. I'm not going to fold it when I send it because I don't want the stickers to come off the sheet but that was my intention. So let me just show you a few I've made and what I learned after making a few of these. Um, so all different scrapbooking papers and um, on the inside I have these two separate pockets and when you make this, um, this there's a little flap here that I glued down so it wasn't flapping everywhere and I put tape on the seam to have two set completely separate pockets but you can leave that open if you want and um, yeah so let me just show you oh wait something else is be careful how you fold it because if you're not um, there will be like overhang I don't know if you can see that but there's like overhang and it kind of looks bad um, I had that mistake with this one but I was able to fix it so you can't really tell tell so yeah let me just I um, get that I like the way this one came out okay so here is a four size and here is I moved everything up an inch so it was nine and a half this new one is nine and a half by twelve just about and then this one is like standard A4 copy paper, which you can, I'll put the measurements for that, even though I'm sure everyone already knows it. I'm just the only one that's bad at measurement. So you can really see a pretty good difference between the two. They're about the same height, but the length is a lot better. Our, I, there is, yeah, uh, there's a significant length difference and just a little smidge, like I'd say maybe a centimeters difference. Um, with the height. So either way, depending on what you're going to send, either one could be a really fun idea and uh, you can just use plain paper. I'd use a thinner paper because anything like watercolor paper, or it might be hard to work with especially, you know, when you have that really thick paper, when you bend it, it kind of cracks and it's like fibrous. So these thinner papers are probably better for it. Um, I haven't tried construction paper, but I imagine that's probably as thick as you're going to want it. So anyways, um, that's everything. I will put the measurements on a blog post that should be posted the same time as um, this video, or it will be. I won't post it without having a blog post ready, but yeah. Oh, well here, see I have to glue this down. I did forgot to do that, but anyways, I'm going to get to decorating. 
and I will see you later. I'll pop in and out of the video.
Oh yay, I'm back. I My camera ran out of space so I had to take the other video off and it stopped filming. Um, I finished the edges in embossing powder and I did a strip of white acrylic paint to gen break it up because that's where I'm going to be putting Leia's name. So yeah, let's get back into it.
Okay, I'm back again. It's the next day. I didn't have a lot of good sunlight, so we're gonna finish out this mail today. Um, so here is how it is so far. You know what it looks like. Um, I put some of my new um, pop of colors from scrapbook.com. I really like them. I think they're really awesome. So let's finish out decorating this mail and put some goodies in it. And um, I'll probably make the envelope off camera just because it's easier and I will um, 
I will see you in the next video. I'll be popping in and out, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, and also before, okay, a few things for you. Let me just zoom out again. I made the, or I decorated the writing paper for, for her. Um, it's pretty simple. The back is blank. I'm not sure if I'll go all the way to the back, but if not, I guess I'll just leave it blank or do a collage or something. So there's that. And also, I got some model paste, like, <laughs> right as I turned off my camera. And I made a few tags that I'm going to send one to Leia, but I just really, really like how they came out. So this is the first one I did. I mixed some acrylic paint. And I have these like chunky glitter or chunky star glitter confetti or whatever and I really like the way it looks. You can't really pick it up on camera I don't think but I like the way um, they kind of shimmer and add a little interest in there so that was fun. I also mixed regular glitter in there. Um, mixing it with the acrylic you can't really see the glitter too much but here's another tag with a chevron pattern and um, then this one is, uh, I can't remember what that design is called, but um, I think maybe this is chevron, never mind. But I am added a lot more stars, so I'm going to, next time I do that, I'm going to not add as many stars, just because they'll clump up together. And Yeah, so um, one of these will be going in Leah's mail, and let's just get started.